just have six kids, just Absolutely. seven, just to beat them. It's really bad. Definitely bad for the planet. I know. Let's not get into that <laughs> right away. <laughs> I mean, kids are bad for the planet. Well, what well, everything? They're pretty eco-friendly, actually. Adults are bad for the planet. Well, they're not eco-friendly in the sense that they're going to have kids, and you know, you're just making more people who are using resources. You know, people who argue about planet and you know, Elon Musk, I don't understand his whole thing about like, we should have more people. It's like, there's room. Of course there's room. It's not about room. It's about resources. We don't have the resources. We have the room. We just don't have, I read just the other day where the, uh, what did they call the groundwater? We've already like sucked out all the groundwater mm -hmm. that we can possibly use. They're not, there's just not enough rain falling for like all your kids. It's all about you, Candace. <laughs> Thank you. It's interesting because I've just kind of read this whole book debunking all of that, which I feel like in two years, you're going to have a totally different perspective on all of that. Because well, I've, I've seen your growth and where you were a few years ago to where you are now. No. And, you know, Elon Musk, that, I think, is probably pretty educated about the planet well, resources. Uh, do you think? No. No. Not necessarily. <laughs> not if you, not either of you. If you think <clears throat> that we can somehow keep putting people on the planet, which has a finite amount of resources. Right about almost everything. I mean, <laughs> let's have more babies and raise them on Mars. I don't get that, but okay. Well, uh, <laughs> I just think we should be, 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 be cautious about civilizational decline with with, and we have plummeting growth rates um, mo most places. Yeah. Right, and also plummeting resources. I mean, uh, that's no, the, no, resources will be fine. But they're not and, fine. And I know a lot about They're this. not fine now. No, they're, they're, look, I'm not suggesting complacency. Uh, but, but we, we do want to move to a sustainable energy economy as, as quickly as possible. But, but we're not uh, in any danger of uh, resource collapse. But lots of people don't have enough food or water. <laughs> water. We will run out of water. They, they're, running, no, we, they're running out of sand. No, sand. This, uh, uh, Earth is 70% water by surface area. Um, and, but you uh, can't drink that. But de yeah, de desalination is absurdly cheap. Why don't we do it then? We do it. It is done. You have a lot of free time. It is done. <laughs> there is a lot of desalination done. Okay, uh, but there's but, plenty of water. This is not an issue. I want to be clear. All right, but um, don't you not believe like in the moon landing? So I'm supposed to believe you about climate? I, I think it's so funny how people take. Well, first off, I know what I'm talking about with the climate stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and promote. Well, you're not the you only one. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think you should probably realize, no. like, that there is in the same way that there are narratives I think you're now more awake to. The climate hoax is one that funds trillions of dollars. And okay. we are not running out of space. You could fit the entire world if you stacked it like New York City in Dallas. So Fit, I just said, it's you not said about- fit, But the point is, is that the fi hurricanes are down. The whole idea that every time it rains, it's because you know, something bad is happening is like, it's, it's okay. What I will agree with you on is this. The environmentalists do often lie because they have this idea, uh, this issue is so important, and by the way, it is so important, that it's okay if we shade the truth to get people on our side, and I don't agree with that. I'm always- You lied every matter, time. Matter, well, not every time. What was your climate disaster growing up? Mine was, mine was global warming. They don't even say it anymore. They don't say global warming no, anymore? No, they don't. No, they say climate change. They, they went from global Maybe cooling- Maybe not in your bubble, but from, in the world they no, do. No, they don't. They went from global cooling to global warming. They never were in global, no one was ever talking about, it was one, that's such a stupid talking point that you keep repeating, it's a zombie lie. It was one article in one magazine in one day, one week in Newsweek or something. Nobody was talking about global cooling. Yes, we understand that the planet is always changing. That's a different story. No, there was there was a whole climate alarm alarmism via the IPC for global cooling. No, there wasn't. There, okay. Okay. <laughs> there was. But do you uh, believe people landed on the moon? Well, well, well let's just back because that up. Because if you don't, then going, I think that's no, 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 no. I think that you really sets taking, a standard for this discussion. You are taking something that was a Twitter joke. You can't answer it? Joke. I'm going to answer your question, okay. but I'm just trying because I think you should add context because what you're doing now is you're jumping away from an actual meaningful discussion about climate change and the hoax that's surrounding it and making people fearful to have children. And you're all going, well, didn't you once tweet when I said, literally I said in the tweet, it, let's have some fun today. What is one conspiracy theory that almost got you and that you think like could possibly be, be real? And I said, the one that always gets me every time is the moon landing. How come we haven't gone back? So you're taking this one tweet where people then shared 
the things that they think that were not really serious or political on this long thread to now apply to a conversation about climate okay, change. Okay, but just to that be clear, little, like, people did land on the moon. I don't know. Okay, there we go. I don't know. I, I do know. I just want to know why we didn't go back. We did go back. What Did we go back? What year? To the moon? Were we people on the moon? Okay. I'm asking now a serious question. When, when did we go when did we, we back to people landed, walking on the moon? 69, oh, okay. July 20th, 1969. Yeah. We went back like 10 more times. Who went back? Who walked on the moon? America. You know, the, no, but like what were the astronauts' names? Educate me. Why who are the you... fuck remembers what the astronauts' names were? The, 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 That's a big, it's a pretty big deal to walk on the moon. The first guy, and then after that, yes. Who then else people, walked on it? I How don't many? remember the name. It, like another dozen. Okay. Yeah. Are you, we, okay, a lot of other dozen humans walked on the moon? Yes, Americans, all Americans. Okay, we don't remember that. We kept going back. Uh, Apollo 13 was the one they made the movie about. That was the one they aborted. But that was after we had landed. Apollo 11, I think, was I'm the not one. talking about space missions. I'm talking about actual people walking yes, on the moon. Yes, landing on the moon and walking on it. First of all, it's, it, it is an impressive scientific feat. It's not out of the realm of like, how could that possibly happen? It's only 250,000 miles away. They had figured out enough to be able to do it, even with these shitty computers that they had in 1969. Um, Yes, it's risky, and we did lose people doing it. Um, but we did do it. I mean, plainly. I mean, the idea that you could think that this was some sort of hoax, I, I'm sorry, but it colors everything else. I, I'm just saying that, like, say. I'm, I'm just not, like, you're, I feel like you're just trying to find this one. Like, I've never talked about this on my show. You're literally talking about one funny tweet It's thread. relevant. It's really it's not relevant that relevant. It's relevant that you won't say, no, I absolutely, just... people walked on the moon. <laughs> it's relevant. I, I've, I feel that you are finding an angle here to try to talk about something that I've never talked about on my podcast. I've well, never talked people on on a debate stage. But it's never out talked there. About it I on read a college. It. You you probably had a producer dig up what you thought were there's the no most absurd tweets. Uh, this, like there's no way you. It's out. Candace, like you're saying it's out there. You. There's not even articles about this. It's I so promise. it's so obscure that it's like it's like literally. I, I mean, it said like let's have some fun. What are Candace, some of the things that, I, I, what are some conspiracy it, okay. theories that you read pro- that you have questions about? And I was like, the moon landing. First of all, I promise you, there is no production on this <laughs> okay, show. Well, no, no it's, a, it's a pretty niche thing. Of all is, the things I talk about production. and I'm known for, like, there wasn't even an article written about this about me. I wasn't planning to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, so but it's like, where, how did you, you get what, here? Because you, you saw it on Twitter? I got here, be, somehow I knew it. But how? Because it's out there. But it's because not, I've it's not read even a, in my Wikipedia. Like it's like it's so obscure, it's so niche that I'm just like curious. I how, don't. Th- I don't think that's the case because I think I read it in the Vanity Fair article about you. No. No. Nope. Well, that's I read what I mean. It it's, not, it's not even relevant for like it's. I've never ever had a well, single then, person well, sit done, down and ask me this question. Well, then so I've just done like, America a service because okay. we 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 find the baseline of your thinking. I'm sorry, but that is relevant. That you don't think men landed on the moon. No, it's I, a, I just it's a, said I would like I. First off, I, what I specifically said was, you don't know. I want to know why. And I think even Elon Musk said this in his time piece. Ask him about it. Yeah, Ask him I about think the he moon. did. He did address it in his uh, time piece. I think piece he probably believes year. it. Happened. But I'm just not interested in this topic like at all. So it's just okay. like you just came in so fiery about something that I, I, I am not known for. That was like an obscure okay. tweet want, of like I, I it started want, with "Let's have some fun," and it was in a joking manner. Okay. And suddenly you're Sorry. like, okay. "How could you not believe uh, the moon landing?" And I'm well, like, "The energy that. is okay. like okay. a little." My apologies, and I I, I don't. <laughs> I want this to be adversarial. It, no, it was just if surprising. If we hadn't got on to global warming, I well, wouldn't, that's have, that I I wouldn't believe, have thought so the moon. So I'm okay to have this topic. No, but I, I connected it to that because it was like, okay. If but we, I'm in the public sphere talking about that. I've had experts on my show talking okay. about, like Gregory Whitestone okay. talked about his book about the climate change hoax. Okay. I care deeply about that because of the implications and how the climate change hoax and the trillions of dollars that are basically disappearing for things like Paris Accord Agreement. Like I'm on very much on record in okay, a, but si- and sincere not to beat a, about Not to that. beat a dead horse, but if you think the moon landing is a hoax, it colors my view of what you think of the global warming being a hoax. Isn't the Fed cutting rates now just going to make the next economic downturn worse? What's your prediction? I've been hoping for a recession. People hate me for it, but yeah, it, it would get rid bad. of Trump, so you shouldn't hate me for it. I mean, recessions are really bad. People lose their jobs and their I phones, know. And, we, and we shouldn't wish It's them. worth it. 
So that's a that's a kind of a crappy thing to do. Yeah. And finally, new rule three months into his presidency, it's time to admit that Joe Biden has been a huge disappointment to comedians. <laughs> All the jokes we were stockpiling about ancient, doddering, sleepy Joe. Useless. The man has been nothing short of sharp, focused, and completely on top of things. We were expecting a font of comedy gold about a senile geezer showing up to work in his pajama bottoms and <laughs> plowing his motorcade into a farmer's market. <laughs> Forget the dog, he was gonna bite someone on the South Lawn. <laughs> My name is Joe Biden. <laughs> I'm Dr. Joe Biden's husband. <laughs> and I ate Jenny's ice cream, chocolate chip. I came down because I heard there was chocolate chip ice cream. <laughs> By the way, I have a whole refrigerator full upstairs. <laughs> I think I'm kidding. I'm not. God. Ben, how are you, pal? But a funny thing happened on the way to the old age home. Biden slayed the orange dragon and is now spearheading the most transformative administration since FDR, with an approval rating of 59%. It... <laughs> the Joe Biden ticks and gaffes that used to bug us, the hair smelling and the getting lost in a sentence and the challenging of random people to a fight in the parking lot. <laughs> Gone. Gone. Biden stepped up his game. Yes, he got better at 78. What a mind-blowing concept that must be to the younger generations for whom writing someone off simply for their age is the last acceptable prejudice. America's a young country. Well, tonight, I'd just like to say this, America. You're not that young anymore. <laughs> Powdered wigs was a long time ago. It's time you grew up. It's time to stop doing stupid, teenage, immature things. And number one on that list is not getting the most fundamental trade-off in life. You're beautiful when you're young, wise when you're old. <laughs> this is... This is the only country in the world dumb enough not to get this most basic, intuitive, obvious, file it under duh concept. <laughs> that if, as they say, you learn something new every day, it stands to reason someone who's logged 10,000 more days is gonna be in general a little wiser. Life is a series of patterns. You don't see it at first because it's not a pattern yet. But by the third time, yeah, okay, I get it now. Yes, societies need youthful energy and fresh eyes on problems, and it's true. It takes young people to start a revolution. But Biden is the right man for this moment precisely because he is old. Been there, done that. It's a virtue. No matter what their cost, 2, 10, 12, 15, oops, stepping on a, there's a, that's black, anyway. He's getting things done on wealth inequality in Afghanistan and racial justice and climate change that keyboard warriors only dream about while muttering, okay, boomer. <laughs> and yet instead of finding Biden's age an asset, in America, it was his biggest obstacle. In the run-up to the last election, 37% of Americans were unabashed about telling pollsters they flat out wouldn't vote for someone over 70. Is there anything more piss ignorant than not using old people as a resource? Not taking advantage of their accumulated knowledge? Hope you have a wonderful hey, Christmas. Well, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas as well. Oh, Merry thank Christmas you. And Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. I agree. <laughs> yeah. Hey, by the way, where, are you in Oregon? So when you say you're old, you don't get it. Get what? Abolish the police and the border patrol and capitalism and cancel Lincoln? No, I get it. The problem isn't that I don't get what you're saying or that I'm old. The problem is that your ideas are stupid. 
why. When I asked you about Bidenomics a long time ago, you said you didn't know what it was. I said, I didn't name it Bidenomics. I didn't realize the Economist and the Wall Street Journal did. But I think it's a plan that I'll, I'm happy to call Bidenomics. And guess what? Bidenomics is working. Okay. So let's I, get I, on but to... I never said the moon landing is a hoax. Well, you said I said you name did... one conspiracy theory. No, that no, almost, I asked you point that blank. That almost got you. I, I said I don't you... know anything about. I don't know anything about. I can't I even know. debate you. You're sitting here but... telling me that twelve men have gone to the moon since. I don't know anything about it. And so I keep a okay. very. Okay. I think that if there's one thing that people will say about me is I don't come into conversations about things that I don't know. So I'm not going to sit here and pretend to be an expert on the moon a, landing. But you're such a brilliant person. But on who's, things that I actually who's know. Read so I'm about willing to. Every, but I'm willing to because I don't care. Would you read I, about I, it? I literally don't. It's 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 to would, me. Would you it's read It's utterly about it? inconsequential for the work that I do. But yeah, would, I would. That's why I said fun thread. Tell me this. Like we were like, tell me what's one conspiracy theory that you believe that we can look into. I mean, we really should pull the tweet because it's it's weird that you're at, that you're making this so severe as if I was like on a talk show debating the moon landing. And so what I'm saying is I've because never cared a, about this it's topic. A, it's, because it's an undebatable it's, topic. I'm completely that you like are if you want debatable. to. I did make it You're debatable. making it debatable. I don't by, think by, anyone watching this will think that I made this topic debatable. I think you've made this very I, debatable. All I, I told you was okay. I sent a funny tweet, and it's a pretty obscure so tweet that's never Nash- been how's life in ever t- discussed before how's today. How's life in Nashville? Nashville's real. That's right? pretty amazing for a guy who's you know probably going to be convicted for what he should be convicted for, and I'm sure we agree on this, Candace. Definitely sure we agree. Um, um, about you know, trying to overthrow the government of the United States. Um, you're just not like you're not a weak enough person to really like. I, I don't buy this. This I think you. I think you dance this way because you think you have to placate. Okay, first of all, no I was, chance. First no of chance. All, you, like, just you to think educate that you. We almost lost America on January sixth. Like I just don't buy that you that you're that soft. Yeah, I do. Um, and just to educate you a little on this, I was saying this for five years when everyone was laughing at me for saying this, that Trump would never concede the election and he would never go away. I was all alone on a raft. But I mean, you saw BLM riots, right? Yeah. The summer leading up to this, right? Where like you, I lived in DC at this time where you couldn't go outside, cars were flipped, things were burned, people yeah. were boarding up their oh, windows. Yeah. But you thought the end of democracy, you can say this meaningful looking face, happened when people above the age of like 65 stormed the cap like you thought that was the worst thing you've ever seen in, Amer- in american politics well i mean what was the worst thing that was a small part of a bigger picture the worst the worst thing was that finally we had a president after all this history that we've had nobody ever did this not al gore and not nixon who probably didn't actually lose their elections they allowed this a peaceful transfer of power to happen we finally had a guy who decided of course because he's insane decided that no matter what happens, I won this election. There's only two things that could possibly happen. I win the election, or if I don't win the election, there must have been some cheating. It was looked at by his own people around him, including the Homeland Security Department, including the Director of National Intelligence, including every court, federal and state, including the his own lawyers, his daughter, Bill Barr, everybody told him, you lost this election. They looked at this over and over again. Even the Republican vote counters, like the one he called who said, find me 11,000 more votes. Even those people told him. So plainly, he did not accept losing the election, and then he tried to put in a bun. This is why he's on but trial. I'm, I'm just it's not if for you lying. you believe that, that that day, as the media presenter, I'm talking about media hoaxes. I, guess, so I, just, is... I give you my answer. It's not just that day, although that was part of okay. the scheme. I mean, it's not like coincidence that they showed up on the very day that they were certifying the vote at the very place they were doing it to stop that from happening. And did, That's you, not did a you have any questions about why the FBI hasn't been able to find, since we're, we started with media hoaxes, do you think it's strange that they haven't been able to find who dropped off the pipe bombs the night before? Because I think that's the strangest piece. What of pipe bombs? Oh, this is some no, red herring no, no, bullshit. It's not, no, 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 not red herring. You, this is in the moves. You can watch the CNN and MSNBC. You know, remember okay. the night before on January 5th, there were pipe bombs that were uh, uh, set outside of the RNC and the DNC ho- headquarters, right? And this was a part of the whole thing. Like bombs were about to go off, but they were they were able to you know, get the bombs out. This is why, you know, AOC said she had to fly for all this stuff. So I'm asking you, do you have more pressing questions about why they have not been able to find uh, the person that dropped off those I will have bombs? to look into that the way you'll have to look into the moon Fair. thing. Okay. Because I, I think that's a I, very big piece for a lot of people of I, just understanding like yeah, what I mean, actually there, happened no, on I, that day. As I said before, I don't trust the media on anything because they never give you the full story. Yeah. So I will allow that 
there could be this element to the story that is part of the story. I don't think it will probably change my mind that Donald Trump would not concede an election, kept saying it was a, a fake and, and that he had all these uh, uh, reasons to, under, to believe that, the, that people had voted, like 10,000, he said to the Raffsenberger on the call, I, I, Raffsenberger actually corrected him and said, you know, you, you claimed that there was 10,000 dead people who voted in Georgia. We looked and we looked and then we looked. It was two. That sums it all up. There was actually two. Now, he's not on trial for lying. You're apparently about to, allowed to lie to the American people about elections, even though nobody ever really did that before. But okay, he's on trial for breaking specific laws. Forgery. Well, I mean, you mean no forgery. For Stacey Abrams, he tested forged, her election, election and said that it was... Well, that's... Was, that's so let's just be... Let's be... Let, yes, that... But, okay, you're right. Yeah. I concede. Okay. Hillary I'm, Clinton I'm, I'm, took a very long time. I, actually, I don't think she's Hillary still... Clinton was there before the night was over in her purple suit conceding no, the election. she didn't. She slept in. You're wrong. No, I'm not you're wrong. wrong. He, John Podesta came to the podium and said, it well... It was before dawn of the next okay. day. Okay, my point is that saying that there <laughs> you, was... You that lost there your were, point. No, but, I didn't lose my point. My point is that well, you're, you're saying about that... Hillary, you were. Hillary conceded as soon as it was obvious that okay. she lost. The more... I believe he knows he's an illegitimate president. He knows. He knows that there were a bunch of different reasons why the election turned out the way it did. And I take responsibility for those parts of it that I should. But, Jane, it was like applying for a job and getting 66 million letters of uh, recommendation and losing to a corrupt human tornado. And so I know that he knows that this wasn't on the level. I don't know that we'll ever know everything that happened, but clearly we know a lot and are learning more every day and history will probably sort it all out. So of course he's obsessed with me. And I believe that it's a guilty conscience in so much as he has a conscience. The more, the thing that I'm trying to get you to to say, though, we know that you hate Trump. That has been abundantly obvious. Yes, I actually we do. think that Trump out of office for good reason. A, well, was a good thing for your show because it allowed you it's to. It's not to, about my show, Candace. No, That's insulting. No, 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 That's no. That's insulting. I'm to, saying because people that weren't we just, watching your show that you didn't know I finished. You can't okay, be insulted but, by saying I didn't finish. No, but you keep. But you keep. I implying was going to say that, that people that did that did not watch your show because there was so much dedication to talking about. Trump during those years, then were switched on to your show but because you moved on. You started talking about other topics that we, were crucial, and I think brought in more of a conservative base. Can we That's just not have, insulting? Can to we say. just? Yeah, it is. Can we just have this professional courtesy yeah. that I will? I will. I concede, and I believe you believe everything you say. Yeah. Give me the same courtesy. I said I, I believe you hate I, Trump. And well, I you're said, saying I'm doing things for ratings or to bring in a different I didn't audience. Even bring up I never no, I do said, anything. I actually believe that literally amongst my audiences, okay. more conservatives started watching you post Trump. Yes. Myself included. But that, that, that's a big. That's not, not bad. That's not, but that's not I'm because, sorry I said you got a bigger audience now. But, like, oh yeah, my but, gosh. You, no, are you going to cry you, yourself you, to sleep? No, more people not, like no, me. no, no. You ascribed a reason to it that's not true. I do have a bigger conservative audience and a less woke audience, probably. More people who are common sense centrist, good. Fine. I didn't do it for that reason. I or, never said you did it for that reason. I said it, I did that. not imply that. Okay, fine. I didn't. I right, genuinely then, meant what bad. I said. Okay. Yeah. I, I think, just say I think what that I really when Trump think. Trump got out of office. You started focusing on different topics other than Trump. I, People were able to see that. Well, like, he wasn't president anymore. Of course. I'm not faulting you. I'm just making okay. a comment that your. I think that your audience base has gotten a lot bigger since Trump left office. Some people might even take that as a compliment. Uh, diff different. <laughs> Crazy, but some Di people might take this as a compliment. Thank you. Well, for like, that part, yeah. Yeah, because you're but talking about, like we just talked about, like you know, trans sure, kids and I'm bringing up sure, geography right, and things. And I think right. that while Trump was in office, and this is not just your show, that it was even my show. I think it, it, it everything was about Trump. Everything was about Trump. I agree. Right? And it wasn't, the, it's never been that way for any other president. Never, and not everything was about His Obama. other presidents no, like, weren't uh, not like that. Uh, we, uh, we have definitely, I think, I I believe that there, and, and we can disagree on this, I think that from the second he announced that he was coming down, there was a media obsession with taking him down. Like, I've never seen it. It actually woke me up. I was on the liberal side, there, and it turned me into a conservative. It was vicious. It was there, nasty. It was there calling was, him but things that, that he that, wasn't. There you was, know, but that's You didn't participate a, in that, but, but there was, that Trump was like a, a vowed racist that was trying to bring back the Klansman okay. was a little bit, like, dramatic, you know? But, but that happens with every president and everybody who gets that high up in the tree. You know, when... I, I don't know how far back it goes, probably to George Washington, when a person is the one who's going to be in power, the people who want to prevent that, who think oppositely of how he thinks or she thinks, 
Yes, that's what they do. Oh, they try to destroy. They didn't try to destroy Obama. Not in the way that they come on Trump. You had the Lisa oh, Bloom please. period where oh, you had Candace. 85 million women that came out of the woodwork with allegations. And where were you guys? He's been in the public sphere for the last 30 years. He's had shows. Where were you guys with your allegations before he announced running for president? I mean, it was so obviously a ratchet job. And these things matter to you because it doesn't well, matter. Well, one of them's on it doesn't tape. Doesn't matter. It doesn't one matter. One of them's right from the horse's mouth one saying, them, "I grabbed pussy." He didn't say, "I grabbed pussy." He, he looked, did. He said these. He was talking about. About groupies, he said they will literally Gro- let you do anything, including grab well, them by the. He wasn't talking word. about groupies. Yeah, he was. He never said that word. He said when you're a star. Yes. That, that that's that's quite a leap to say we're just talking about groupies. And by the way, he didn't say, say I grabbed this woman by the p word. And I think that that's a part of when I say and we have there's he, so many media hoaxes. Just be honest. He said you can you grab never, them by the pussy. He said you can grab them by the pussy. Yeah. And. You can do anything. You can grab yeah, them by girls, the Yeah, these girls, when they see a star. That, that's literally, by the way, just to be clear, that's a fact. But just to be clear, you <laughs> shouldn't do that, But right? you shouldn't, yes. But I, but let's just be honest <laughs> okay. about what he said. This is locker room talk. Men right. talking about, you know, I hang out with a lot of athletes, about women that throw themselves on them simply because of who they are, and they'll let you do anything to them. But We do live just, in this, this, you know, just to put economy it, of women who will quite literally let men, especially now with the birth of OnlyFans and TikTok and the rise of becoming a star, that if you are a star, they will let you do whatever they want. And then the media pretended he said, I personally went in and grabbed a woman by the P word. It's, it's, it's locky room talk. Is it crass? Yes. Do women also speak crass when men aren't looking? Yes. I'm very much, you know, I'm, I'm not saying this is great speech. And I would love to hear if my husband was saying this about, you know, but I'm just trying to be rational well, and not be like me too crazy and acknowledge that both men and women have locker room talk. I have an important I, question. On my show, I share, R, you know, RFK Jr. He says stuff that I think yeah, is really he brilliant. He's right there. Yeah. And I would love to have him on my show. And people are so offended. But he people will do your show? So tribal. I tried to get him. I don't, the reason why he wouldn't do it was because there was some like YouTube stuff going on at the time. I think he would come on my show. I will. We talk a lot about I will about put vaccines. in a good word. Yeah. We talk he a lot about vaccines. Talk. And he's the reason why I chose not to vaccinate my children. Um, which is funny because he's he's super left, and obviously I would never vote for RFK Jr. But I want to plot for him because it doesn't it shouldn't really be so tribal about just because you wouldn't vote for someone based on this policy or what they believe in that you won't listen to them about things that are really rational that could actually bring you bring us all a little closer. And I think what he has done in terms of the sacrifices he has made in, in his life um, to make parents more aware of the encroaching medical system, he completely woke my eyes up I, to it, and he is yes. fascinating. No, I when he sat here, that is the theme that I was trying to <laughs> encourage him to use in his campaign, that his ideas <clears throat> about COVID and vaccines, not, not that I agree with everything, I don't think they put chips in the vaccines. I don't think that either. Does he he I, doesn't think that either. I think he did say that at the okay, beginning. Okay, I didn't hear that. I want yeah, to be clear. Got I, don't some, believe that. Some, I don't believe look, in chips. We, I think we've established tonight we've all got our own We've all got our we things. All, we all got we our got own our things. things. He right. responded to my tweet and said that. <laughs> he would have said chips in the vaccines, and I would have been like, that's an interesting one. <laughs> chips on the moon. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, okay.